All right, so I'm just t sitting here watching the um, the uh, caucus. And here's the amazing thing to me. 60% of those coming out of the caucus that say that they're Republicans, 60% are saying that they are evangelical Christians. For Romney or anyone to even be close to a guy who is, you know, I'm more Christian than you are, is amazing. And... I don't know if they know this, but 60% of all Republicans are not evangelicals. You get outside of this, that number is going to fall apart. I uh, just would love to see this actually reported on any news channel, but probably not going to happen. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm on drugs and I see this. So I just, I just saw Ed Rollins now on television um, being questioned about a private conversation that he had with his wife about how he was telling his wife that once he gets to South Carolina, you know, they'll try to say some nice things, but it's a negative state, and so they're going to go negative. So in other words, when Huckabee was just saying don't go negative, that was only to appeal to the voters, not what he really believed in. Isn't that exactly the opposite of what Mike Huckabee was trying to portray? I mean, if you have problems with being negative, you should have problems being negative anywhere, shouldn't you? I gotta tell you, I think Huckabee, God bless him, man. I mean, I had a real, as you know, if you listen to the program, I had a real experience with Mike Huckabee and started out liking him. And I like everybody when I first meet him. He liked to believe the best in people and then they turn into Mike Huckabee, uh, you know, but this, this whole thing on, you know, gee, I don't know. I mean, don't Mormons sacrifice children in their temples? Not that I'm being anti-Mormon at all. Okay. You got that example. Then you have the now tonight's example of, uh, gee, I, I mean, look how negative he is. By the way, when we get to South Carolina, throw him under the bus. Um, so you don't really stand for anything there. And then the negative campaign ad that he actually did in Iowa, where he said, I just want to show it to the press. Uh, I could put this on the air, but let me just translate. I could put this on the air, but why spend the money? I'll just call you here and you'll play it on the news yourself. And then I don't, it doesn't cost me a dime. And I can say, well, I didn't spend any money on, you know, putting this on the air. I said no to it. I mean, this is the kind of stuff, you know what makes it so scary? This is the kind of stuff with Mike Huckabee that um, it's not what Jesus would do. I'm just saying. In fact, it's the exact opposite kind of stuff that Jesus would do. Jesus, I don't think would, I mean, first, I agree with Mike Huckabee, he'd be smart enough to not be a politician. Um, but he certainly wouldn't cloak himself in, she, I'm just an angelic little angel, and then come out and do these things while portraying himself as an angel doing the devil's work. It's, is it strike anybody else as a little, oh, I don't know, evil? Maybe, the, is that the prescription talking there? Might be, might be. Fentanyl, the patches, bad. I'm just saying. 